Hi guys, it's Hello. Andre. Hello, and it's Liv. And we're here live in Kuala Lumpur. Why are we here? We'll tell you later. For no. a very special... <laughs> There's no reason, that's why. <laughs> Athlan Top 5. Why are we in Kuala Lumpur? I, there is no reason, you said. I like Malaysia. Yeah, just Well, yeah, it's nice to be here, but there's no like actual linking to us. No, there's no linking. No, it's just really It's really beautiful. Nice. We hope you feel Look calm. at this. Very calm and serene here in the capital of Malaysia. Anyway, <laughs> let's kick off this week. Yes. First story. We talk about Taylor Swift, right? Yeah, we're talking about Taylor because she's back. And I don't know. I kind of want to know. Did she go away? <laughs> she's had like a little break. She's not really been doing any music. There's been like loads of build up to her like teasing and dropping things. She's released a song called Me! Exclamation mark. And have you seen the video? I saw it. I was one in the first hour it got released. I happened to stumble upon it. What? You don't just happen to stumble upon this. I was lying in bed and it came up as a link and I clicked on it oh. and I then shared. I was one of the, basically I was one of the first people in the world basically to watch Basically Andre it. made it viral. I made it viral. I did. Uh, well, it's broken like an unreal amount of records. How much? It's testing. So first day, it was 64 million? 65.5. 65. And now I just checked and it's 116 on YouTube. That's amazing. It's insane. And it's only it's a great a, video. A couple of days. It is a really good video. I'm not obsessed with the song, um, but video is good. And yeah, she's knocked Ari off the top spot with Ariana Thank you Grande Next. had the record with Thank You Next, right? Mm -hmm. So Taylor Swift has now outdone her. Yeah, which I don't really agree with, but I just, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Taylor. I like her, but. I don't, I don't feel anything when she releases music. You give me Taylor Swift vibes, so maybe it's like a rivalry. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's a compliment, so let's <laughs> Snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, we want to talk about Britney, like we did last week, but happier news, Andre's campaign for hashtag free Britney. It worked. Actually worked, well done. Thank you, you. thank you. Um, yeah, so she's been released, and what can you add to this story for Is us? that all you know? Yeah, pretty much. So Britney has been released from the mental facility as oh Taylor Swift here said <laughs> um, but you know what's really interesting is that like, she's being papped quite a lot which she usually doesn't get papped mm, um, that's true. and they're saying basically it's like her team after the Free Britney movement that our team are trying to kind of do these set up paparazzi shoots um, to kind of make people think that everything's okay and that she's you know up and running classic, but so now here's the thing which today I saw photos which made me question this because in the pictures, she is driving with her bodyguard in the car. Right. She's not allowed to drive. She's okay. only allowed to drive when one of the conservatorship people that's on the list is in the car with her. And that is cu currently only the lawyer or her father. So her driving with the bodyguard is not, she's not allowed to. And she, so she previously drove a few years ago she was spotted with one of her boyfriends in the car driving, and she got into trouble for that. Um, so, I don't know that. So, so you're saying it's like set up? Well, I don't know if they're setting it up to be like, okay, Brittany, drive, make everybody think that you're in control yeah. behind the wheel, or is it her lashing out going, I'll show you. I'll drive anyway. I'm going to drive anyway. So that's a bit of a question mark this week for me. Did you did you guys know that? I really didn't know she couldn't drive. Why do I, I know to, all of this? I really, love her. I know you do, but that's a, an intricate detail I really didn't know. This, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, so didn't know that detail. It's actually really interesting about Britters. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, moving on. Oh, is it me again? Yeah. Um, oh, wait, actually, yeah, no. Oh, God. I'm going to take the beginning of this story. I can see you just looking patiently. No, I thought me. you said you were going to intro it. I was going to, and then I thought maybe you can. But basically, our next story is to, do, <laughs> is to do with Victoria Beckham, aka Posh Spice, and it's to do with the Spice Girls reunion. Which when I love that? how you intro it. You tell the whole story during yeah. the intro. When is that's not the whole story? Okay. And when is the the reunion actually happening? Like when are the first this month? Ones? So guys, this is today, what now, while you're watching this video, this right. is the first week of May. The tour starts, Spice Girls tour starts on 24 May. So we are Whoa, like, like soon. just very soon. They must be panicking so much. Nobody's panicking. It's, it's, <laughs> all things are good. So the so now, obviously, so, much, so many rumors are flying around. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the main ones, which you can kind of expect was going to hit the tabloids, is 
Victoria Beckham, will she or won't she appear on stage with the Spice Girls? Yeah. Then, this past week, a whole bunch of newspapers jumped on the bandwagon and said, indeed, she is planning to, right. and that it would be the 14th of June, Wembley Stadium, London, that she wasn't going to perform live, but that she was going to do a catwalk down the, down the ramp. Oh my gosh. So... They wish. <laughs> who they wish? Like the Spice Girls and like the world, or like the tabloids as well. Well, she did the catwalk on the previous tour that I attended in 2007. <laughs> um, but, I mean, there is no catwalk on the stage, firstly. The, the okay. first tour had a catwalk. This one doesn't. Um, it's got a circle, which I will be inside. <laughs> and on the 14th of June, if she does make an appearance, I, have, I will be there in the circle. You can go live for us. I can go live with Afan Top 5 from the Spice Circle. That would be great. But Victoria Beckham's uh, publicist has responded to the claims and said, not true, Fake not news. happening. Yeah. No, the Spice Girls are, seem to be very happy as four. They've been releasing all their merchandise, those little Miss Spice yeah, Girls which range. which Andre's been buying instead of working. I have been purchasing all of the merchandise, indeed. <laughs> um, I'm very poor. So <laughs> go to thespicegirls.com forward slash store and you can buy me stuff so that I can have feed myself, You please. make it sound like they're sponsoring us. <laughs> <laughs> please. Okay, yes. let's move on to the next one, please. It's a Cynthia former Nixon. Sex in the City yes. star. Yes, Cynthia Nixon. Yeah. Do you know? Who, are you too, are you old enough to know who she is? And have you seen the show? I didn't watch it religiously, but I've dabbled in a couple of episodes. You've dabbled in episodes and enjoyed them, Guys, but I wasn't hooked. It's a travesty for me. No, it's I'm, nice. So I like it. I so I've got a cheat sheet for this one. Excuse me. Right. So Cynthia Nixon right. has done a new interview. Okay. And she made a few comments about Sex in the City, basically saying. Just some, some a look back at the format and the characters and, and the themes. Mm -hmm. And she said, um, while I certainly think we would not have all been white, if it was obviously filmed today, okay. um, one of the hardest things for me, it was at the time too, is looking back and seeing how much of it was centered around money and how Steve, my character's husband, mm -hmm. was the closest thing we got to a working class guy, never mind a working class woman. Mm. Mm. So I think it's my a bit of a conversation killer. I, I know. <laughs> so my theory about that is that Cynthia Nixon's gone into politics, obviously. Yeah. And I think that I think she wants everybody to love her and everybody to feel she's one of the people. Um, mm. And obviously, if you know Cynthia Nixon, the first thing you think about is Miranda and yeah. the TV show and stuff like yeah. that. So I think she's kind of like distancing herself from it. But you know what? I don't think. Yes, they were all white, and yes, it was all about money. But that you know that th that was just the theme of the show at the time. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Completely. And even stuff like Friends, a lot of them have come forward and said, like, a lot of the jokes and a lot of a mm. lot of the storylines wouldn't fly today. It wouldn't be the, it, it just wouldn't be appropriate. This is making our episode a bit long, but also it's like Mean Girls' 15 year anniversary or something, like today or it has been. And they were saying, like, they were interviewing the director and the cast, and they said, looking back, there's lots of little jokes that they wouldn't be able to make now just about you know, teachers kind of preying on younger girls. And it's all said in jest, but they wouldn't be able to say it now. So, uh, yeah, hindsight is a great thing, but, you know, at the time it was relevant. So. Or is our humour being restricted yeah, <laughs> by well. sensitive people? <laughs> right, <laughs> okay. next one, last one, Final. 50 Cent. This is my favourite of the week. 50, <laughs> 50 Cent online is a bit of a troll. I love him. <laughs> he actually he is. is. Oh, my he, God, I love he's, him. He's, uh, there's a, actually, if you look, if you search his name on Google... There's like maybe three stories this week alone of him trolling people on Instagram. It's amazing. <laughs> but the one that I want to talk about is Kanye West. So Kanye yeah. West, there were photos of Kanye um, leaving one of his concerts and he is wearing basically the... Like his, the Yeezy The stuff. Yeezy stuff. So yeah. it's basically um, his collaboration with Adidas, the Yeezy collection. So I'm going to... There's quite a lot of swear words in this. So the beep man, are you ready? I'm going to have to read So this, this was a tweet? No, this is commenting on the pictures of Kanye on, pictures, on Instagram. On Instagram, okay, amazing. He's like, well, well now, I'm no star icon, but I'm definitely not wearing that <laughs> lol. Get the <laughs> out of here, man. He then went on to say, um, what, in this, what, what in the spare some change type <laughs> is this? <laughs> no, this is not rich N vibe, face palm emoji, I'm out. Okay, I'm gone. 
Yeah, so he basically, he, 50 Cent will not be invited to any Kanye West events, concerts or launches for the foreseeable future. That is quite funny. But you know, you should speak out if you don't like things. No one ever disagrees with anything, so I kind of love it. I bit. think it's really, really funny. It's funny. Yeah. Anyway, okay. that's like, it for us. That's a nice note to end on, actually, because we always end on really, like, tragic, sad things, and we're like... So yeah, next week. Absolutely. So it's nice to just spit a lol. How, however, we need to say that we are going to be taking a break throughout the Ramadan period. Oh, you didn't tell me this. I'm surprised! <laughs> <laughs> so, an idiot. after Ramadan, we'll be back with more juicy gossip. Yes, Until sounds then, good. Yep, thank you for watching, and we'll see you... <laughs> after Ramadan. After the holy month. <laughs> Bye. Bye.